Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Health Talks. We're back here at Bikram Yoga in Ascot Vale and I've got something I want to talk with you today about and that's cervical dysplasia or cervical cancer as some people might be more, you know, familiar with. So it's something that, um, you know, we're screening a lot now. Pap smears are something that we do every couple of years. And I want to talk about what happens if you get a pap smear back that's not normal. Have you girls had any experience with anything like this? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, years and years and years ago before my ectopic pregnancy, I actually was just saying to Nat before, I actually think I did receive one and not knowing anything about yeah. it. Um, and this was when the whole Gardasil yeah, vaccine right. was coming yeah. out as well and I was a bit like, oh, I don't know how I'm going to well, go. Well, the funny thing about the vaccination mm. is that it's for 10 possible strains of about 100 variations. Yeah, of the, see? Yeah, so it's sort of yeah. like, all right, well, it's a bit hit and miss. Yeah, it's kind of like, I don't know whether you'd... You know, it's an individual choice, really. So when is, it, is it actually a really common thing, the cervical dysplasia, to get these results? Is well, I it think quite it's common? more common now because we're so diligently testing. Yeah, okay. And so we're more aware. And can't so many things affect it as well, like, oh. you know, sex and totally. all of that kind of thing and, like, where you are in your cycle yeah. and all totally. of that. So you can get this result back and be like, holy moly, yeah. what does this mean? Mm. And, and there are different, like, phases and levels of yeah. cervical totally. dysplasia as so, well. Yeah, so what would normally happen is if you come... Um, and get a negative result that, or an abnormal result, um, normally what would happen is they'd watch that over a period of six months, depending on the level of where it's at. So it's tested SIN 1, SIN 2, SIN 3, and that's that's sort of how far down it is mm. in terms of how far it's penetrated into the cervix. Okay. Um, and so, you know, SIN 1 that they might watch um, and because it's not a, a huge amount, and as, as it goes down the chain, um, the further it gets towards SIN 3 is when they might go in and do what's called a cone biopsy and then remove those cells if need be. And is that something that you need to go under anaesthetic or is that, gener is that what, how does that go? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that it's something I've never had to have no. it done, so I'm not 100% sure. I'd have to double check, but I'm pretty sure it's, it is a procedure. It's a yeah, full on, yeah, yeah, yeah. full on procedure. So not just a scraping no, or anything. No, not it's like a, a pap smear. Yeah, no. yeah, it's yes. a full, oh, okay. The good, like the silver, not silver lining, but the good <laughs> thing to focus on, oh, all about the positives. All about the positives. Uh, is, there is so many, when it comes to equal dysplasia, there's so much we can do with health as totally. well. So activated B vitamins, folate, and those things are actually so high in certain foods. So you get a lot of folate from things like broccoli, all your leafy greens, Totally. Your so that's something, yeah, I'm glad you said that because it's what I want to talk about is that what do you do if you get this negative mm. result? Now, you know, it's very easy to get caught up in the whole, oh my God, I've got cancer, when in actual fact, it's, it's early stages are not cancer. It can become cancerous, okay. but they start off as being abnormal cells. Mm. So that's not cancer. And if you don't look after yourself, then that can progress to being something that may become cancer. But the key is that, why is your body telling you this? And this is what we always come back to here on Health What's Talks. What's your body manifesting? What is your body yeah. telling you? And so, you know, getting back in touch, I know that I can talk about this from a personal experience. I had two tests in a row, both came back with abnormal cells. And my GP, who's an integrative GP, she was still, you know, let's go get a cone biopsy and rah, 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 rah. And I got home and I sort of sat there and thought about it. And I was like, hang on, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. What's just happened? Surely... Surely I can have a look and see what's going on and work out whether or not I can actually treat this myself. So mm. I rang her up and I said, look, I understand where you're going with this, but can I have six months? Can I have six months to get really healthy? The key thing that had happened in that time for me is I had been under immense stress. Yep. And yep. in 99% of it's cases, I can tell you it's more than likely stress, stress. that's causing yep. these things that, to happen in our body. So. I was very diligent with my diet, and we'll go and visit that again in a second. Um, I was diligent with my diet. I just removed stress, and I was conscious of removing stress. Yeah. So it's not just like I said, I'm going to remove stress. And I'm going to be relaxed. You That's actually right. have to take away the things that are stressing yeah. you out. Yeah, and so work you out what they might time. be, you know. Say no to things yeah. more. And, I have yeah. patients all the time that all say, oh, but I'm not stressed. And then you'll get down to it. Money might be a problem. Yeah. Or, I don't know, Sleeping someone... Sleeping as yeah, well. Yeah, they don't sleep properly, or someone's mother's father's husband's sick, or whatever it might be, mm. but there is always that causative factor. So by being aware of these things and, you know, just doing things that help my body cope better with that stress, um, I was able to actually come back and have that negative result. But can I tell you something else that's really cool? We touched on that ovulation segment back in season two and we talked about how 
your mucus can change according to different pathologies that are present in your body. And this is one of those examples that when your mucus patterns change, so if you're familiar with your mucus patterns, if they change, it's a fairly good indication that there's some type of pathology present. Mm. So when I actually received these negative results, I actually knew. Yeah. It was no surprise yeah. to me. Yeah. Yeah. My mucus patterns had changed. And when they said it to me, I was like, oh, okay, yeah, I could probably put two and two together. Yeah. So when I went back for my final screening, I knew it was fine because my mucus because patterns were fine. Mind. Everything was normal again. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So what did you do? So you were like, stuff this, I'm going to really give it a crack yeah. and get my health perfect. So you addressed the stress. What did you do dietary-wise? I made sure that, like you touched on, lots of antioxidants, whole foods. And not that my diet was ever bad, but I probably wasn't diligent each meal to actually make sure that there was that good combination of foods. Well, especially with this kind of thing, carotenoids are a big one and carotenoids are in, you know, your things that are orange, Mm. red, Mm. yellow. So, you know, capsicums. Sweet potatoes. Sweet spuds, mm. carrots, tomatoes. Mm. And we we hear it over and over and again that the brighter the fruit or veggie, the more antioxidants present, but it really does come down to foods that are rich in these things. And this is where it comes to more kind of like, uh, the less processed of the mm. food is too. Yep. In these cut to yep. get the antioxidants, you do want that kind of, mm. you know, unadulterated, that really natural yep. food. And, and things for me too, things that I know that are inflammatory for me, I remove. So things that would upset me, I remove those as well. Yeah. And that was yep. really important. And that's going to differ for everybody. So it really is another one of those situations where you need to work out what works best for you. And not just because I said that worked for me, but definitely coming back to that whole foods, well, less that's processed the, That's foods. really the underlying thing about health. You want to feel the best you can that's feel. Right. You want to be the best that you can be, yep. no matter whether we're talking about women's health or brain health mm. or your gut. Mm. You want to be eating clean, real foods and powering on in life. Whether you want to be working in health or a skateboarder or a doctor Doesn't or matter. a dog walker, whatever it is. I you say a donkey then. <laughs> a dog walker, a dog walker. <laughs> A dog walker. Yeah. Um, but you know what I mean? You still need to nourish yourself so that you're the best version of that. Yeah, exactly. A or dog walker. That's right. Exactly. You know. So okay. it does. It comes back to your own personal situation. We'd love to hear about your experience mm. with this, if that's something that's touched your life in some way. If you've got any ideas to share with us, make yes, sure. Please. Yeah, absolutely. Make sure that you share this with everybody that you love because it's really important that all women know this and have the chance to better their, themselves. Mm. The reality is that by just removing the cancer, it's not actually treating the root cause of why it's there in the first place. So thanks again for joining Health Talks today. We'll see you next time. Oh,